Okay, what are we going over? We are going over the body paragraphs, okay? So it's very, very similar as when you are writing a single paragraph. Why? Because you start with a topic sentence. It's like the paragraph song. Do you remember the paragraph song? If not, we play it again. Introduce the topic in a general way. General way, but that topic is going to follow the seven guidelines. It's one main idea, but it's not just an announcement. I've been living in Hawaii for 10 years. Okay, no, it's like that statement. Hawaii is the best place to live. That would be my statement, my position, that shows uh, it's, it's the best place. I'm adding that vigorosity, I'm adding that uh, powerfulness, all right? And then I can add the detail, okay? So we add the topic sentence. That topic sentence follows these seven guidelines of a thesis statement. Okay? Hawaii is the best place to live in, for instance. How do we add the test? Anybody, take your notes. We add the test by means of three things. Facts. Facts, by means of, when we say facts, okay, that's more specific, what about we talk about knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge. Something that we have read and experience. That, hmm? and experience. Right. that would be another. But knowledge is uh, relying on the experts, a fact. It can be a fact. I can put like some statistics there. Knowledge is something I have read. Okay. Means of knowledge, means of now, what were you saying? Experience. Means of. Correct. Now, by means of experience, that's when we can, as you were pointing out before, narration. We are narrating and using description as well. Here, on the details, on the development of our uh, supporting paragraph, mm -hmm, body paragraph, or as well when you are just writing a single paragraph, you want to add detail. You are going to add detail when describing or when narrating, telling a story that is going to involve you and is going to support that topic sentence. So experience, we can use the I person or we first person. Okay, in this point. Knowledge, experience, and what else? Logic. Logic. Wow, logic is kind of... Um, when we are talking, okay, let's see if we can see knowledge, experience, and logic. We are breaking down the idea. We are explaining. Sometimes the topic sentence, and usually we want to make it short and sweet, nice. So I'm going to break it down. I'm going to explain to you, develop this idea. And I can do that. I have time during my whole development of my, um, the details, what we call the details of the top, of the supporting paragraph, okay? Body paragraph. Topic sentence one, three, the tales. Some of you, or in the past, I have seen that the, uh, the clincher put the sentence last, okay? That's totally okay, I'm saying, when it's a single paragraph. When we are talking about a five paragraph essay, we don't really need the clincher. We will have something similar on the very last paragraph that is called the conclusion, and that's the Hawaiian cousin, or Samoan cousin, okay, Polynesian cousin, Latino cousin, all right, African-American cousin, the are cultures of our hook. Hook and closer Hawaiian cousins. That comes later. So now, now here, in this case, supporting paragraphs, we don't need a clincher. But I want to have like a clear topic sentence, Clear topic sentence and three details. Topic sentence two, three details. Topic sentence three, three details. So let's go. I need to see this example. Character inferring you to me. However, that's okay, as I'm saying, as a detail, not as a topic sentence. Let's check the second one. Could you please uh, read? A 
another essential characteristic of good citizenship is leadership characteristics. We have leadership, so the same thing. Uh, that's that's not convincing me. That's like an announcement. Can we rephrase? Can we redo it a little bit? So like leadership. You can put leadership is um, being able to lead others to Christ. Yeah, but that's not adding anything. It's, it has to contain something by itself. What is leadership in Hawaii? You must be leadership. It's essential in Hawaii. Another must have characteristic. No? Because in Hawaii must possess aloha, leadership, and profound. They must possess aloha. Aloha means this. I so, just in, uh, yes, please. I think I'm, I thought. Mm -hmm. Just introducing the topic of that paragraph and then fill in all the details about that certain characteristic and why it's so important throughout the rest of the body of the paragraph. Maybe I'm wrong. No, no, you are, you are right in the sense of like topic sentence, like the one main idea of the whole paragraph. Yes, I agree with you totally. But is the way how are we going to put it to make it argumentative? instead of making it sound like an announcement. You know, let's see the third one. Maybe it, it'll be easier to see this. So maybe redefine what professionalism is in Hawaii and what professionalism in Hawaii, how it is, makes you a good citizen or redefine the professionalism. And during the paragraph, you can uh, explain by means of logic, we break down that idea. Let me see if I get to it. So, um, maybe ultimately, entering the workforce is a responsibility all good citizens should at least consider if able body. Uh, entering the workforce is a responsibility all good American. Why? Because it's good citizenship in America. Good American citizens. So, good American citizens should at least consider if able body. So, topic sentence to have responsibility not only for oneself, but also for the community, but also for the community is part of being good, a good citizen in the U.S. We must reintroduce citizenship courses in the existing education system or citizen courses must be reintroduced. Must be reintroduced into the existing education system in uh, all 50 states, maybe, all 50 states of um, uh, the USA, for instance. Okay, so citizenship courses must be reintroduced in, into the existing education system in all 50 states of uh, the USA, having responsibility not only for oneself but also for the community. It's part of being a good citizen in the US. Ultimately, entering the workforce is a responsibility all good American citizens should at least consider if able body. Notice that all of them, they are like, they look like a thesis statement, right? Argumentative thesis statement. They are backing up his 
first statement, which is it. So in the USA, characters of good citizen dictate whether or not whether or not the uh, whether or not the whole nation runs properly across all walks of society. So citizen courses must be reintroduced into the existing American, ah, so sorry, American education system in order to um, provide in order to educate the characteristics of good, uh, in order to, help me out with this one. Characteristics. to teach, to show, to educate, to teach. The, the necessarily, the necessary characteristics. Okay, so citizenship courses must be reintroduced into the existing American education system in order to teach the fundamental characteristics of a good citizen having responsibility not only for oneself, but also for the community as part of being a good citizen in the USA. Ultimately, entering the workforce is a responsibility all good American citizens should at least consider if able-bodied. 